It's a great day to get out and enjoy, guys. And I want to show you, Chopper Dan McCarthy is up, and he found my boat. It's just cruising without <laughs> yeah, me right now. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> over, yeah, we'll over go out on a ride this afternoon in that. Yeah, why not? Uh, I'm going to have him turn it around to pick us up, by the way, guys, <laughs> as soon as we're done with the noon broadcast. But look at how nice the water is. My goodness, what a great day to be out on the water. Right now, 81 degrees, just a couple of clouds overhead, winds out of the west at about five miles an hour. Temperatures across the rest of central Florida in the lower 80s, up and down I 4, 79 degrees in Ocala, and a nice light. Breeze for just about all of us. Look at the visible satellite imagery, high resolution imagery looking at the clouds from up in space. And we noticed just a few fair weather cumulus clouds around, but a beautiful Friday afternoon. And why, you ask? Because high pressure is in control. And as long as that high sits over top of us, we get the sunshine, the dry air mass in place, but we're getting a nice warm wind. So temperatures are going to be very, very warm. Here's a look at our highs, as a matter of fact, this afternoon. We're in the lower 80s now. We've got plenty of opportunity to heat on up. 88, our high temperature in the villages. 89 for us, Orlando. That will hit about 84 degrees in Daytona Beach. So not much warmer than we are right now. Same thing up towards Palm Coast. But Titus. Cocoa Beach down to Melbourne, expecting about 86, 87 degrees for us, and a dry forecast. And that's not a big surprise. Remember, the month of April in Central Florida is typically our driest month. We're right around the corner, though, from May. And remember, May is when we start to work it back into that uh, rainy season pattern. So the rain's just a couple of months away from us, or a couple of weeks away, I should say. But uh, nice and quiet for us today. Big event going on out at the Central Florida Zoo, the Relay for Life. And while we'll start things off plenty warm, 86 degrees, notice overnight into tomorrow, it's going to be a real comfortable setup. So looking great out there. Cranes Roost Park out in Altamont Springs, the same thing. As the sun starts to set, it's going to be plenty warm, 86 degrees. But of course, as we get those uh, stars coming on out, the forecast looking great. Temperatures dropping through the 80s into the 70s. So here's future cast through 7 o'clock tonight. A nice clear scope, really nothing to track for us. And as we look at the seven day forecast, it's not just today that's perfect. Tomorrow as well, your Saturday features high temperatures in the upper range of the 80s. By Sunday into Monday, we'll start to sneak in a sprinkle or two. But I don't even think that that's going to be a big problem for us. And then into next week, we'll start to bring the moisture back in. But whoa, look at that. 90s back on the map. And not just for a day or two. It looks like we're kind of shifting that pattern around. So warm breezes, afternoon showers, maybe a thunder shower or so as we get into your Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, getting into the month of May. But temperatures certainly well above average.